Let's create categories to run our tests. This way, I can run locally just a unit test because it's faster and cheaper and run the integration test only on my CI. So I can explore the possibility to create categories on my JUnity Jupyter. If you are sick for test quality and code inside your software development, welcome to the Ultimate Engineer channel. The channel for you who wants to achieve the Ultimate stage of sophistication inside of software engineering. So please subscribe on my channel. Okay everyone, let's give the scenario. We right now do have a couple of tests those are come from our previous videos around Java and functional interface. I mean, if you are using Java 11 or higher, you can enjoy this series where we wrote a couple of tests with consumer, with predicate, with supplier and function. The idea here is to enable or disable tests using JUnit Jupyter. This one is really useful where you have integration tests. Of course, we need to run, but we don't need to run it all the time. So I will run this test here, MVN clean test. It will run and let's see the number of tests that we're gonna have. So it's running. And as you can see, right now we do have 11 tests. Our goal is to decrease somehow or enable or disable those tests. Today I will show um, three ways. The first one is using in exploring tags. So I will put here the, the tag on consumer test. I will name this tag as consumer. I will come here and identify this one as consumer. Right now I'm going I'm going to the pawn XML file. Uh, here I have my dependence. Uh, don't worry, I will put the repository source below on the description. And right now what I need to do. I have my serve file plugin and I have my configuration. So what can I do? As you can see here, I have my groups uh, and my exclude groups. If I use my groups here and then put consumer, that means I will run only the one that has consumer, okay? So it will run, and right now, instead of 11, I will run just two tests. Of course, I can do the opposite. So I will run everyone except the consumer one. So I will exclude these groups. And then I will run again. It will run, it will run 11 minus 2, so 9 tests. So right now we know two ways to disable tests with JUnit Jupyter, both using the same annotation. Add tag in the test that we want to use and then go to serve file and do it on the pawn XML. Of course, you can, if you wish, enable or disable that in the console as well. Move on to the third one. So I will comment here the tags. So right now when I run, I will, oops, not you, clean test. I will return to run the whole 11 tests that I have on this project and give the scenario where I want to enable or disable those tests 
using a system property. So I will come here to my supplier and I do have the annotation enable if system property. So as the name said, I need to give a system property to run this test. So I will use OS expert expert dot test and it should match with true okay so it's named stat with this this way i can enable or disable and test using system properties i will come here again to my console and then run my tests again so it will run load verify by default i don't have these properties and as you can see i skipped the one the one that i put there so to enable this one i need to take the system property here so os experts let use the Let's use the power of copy and paste. So, and then come here, equals true, and then run again. And it will run. Let's see. It run out. It run the whole 11 tests again. Today, I just showed just a brief information around conditional test execution. Uh, as recommendation, the documentation is an excellent guide for you to go to understand more. There are more annotation where you can explore, for example, tests on system operation like tests on Mac. Uh, you can test on architectures. You can test on Java version and so on. So explore the documentation, the JUnit uh, user guide from the version, the section 2.8, the conditional test execution. Okay, so hopefully you enjoyed this video and explore more tests today.